Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another Fortnite news video. Anyways, today we have a lot of news to talk about, but beforehand, I want to apologize that I did not report on news as quickly as possible. I just wanted to make sure that the news videos were jam-packed as possible. Instead of reporting a two-minute video, I want to report like a six-minute video. That way, I'm not wasting your guys' time and reporting on something that's really small. Uh, but for starters, with patch 6.21, Durburger is now closed. So if you guys don't already know, in Grit, uh, in Greasy Grove, man, I was about to say Grizzly, man, that would have been weird. Uh, in Greasy Grove, we can see that Durburger is closed. There's a bunch of yellow costume tape saying that the doors are closed or you can't go in. Um, there's also signs outside. The chairs are flipped over onto the tables to make it look like there's no business happening. And yeah, it's just sad to see. We also have the pizza truck from Uncle Pete's right outside of it on the north road that leads out to the gym area right next to the basketball court slash power grid thing. And yeah, so we can see that the pizza truck is trying to make its best of capitalizing on Durburger closing. And yeah, so that's basically it for that. We also have one other map change, or I guess big map changes happening around the map, and that there is floating furniture happening. Uh, one of the areas that I know off the top of my head is the superhero mansion in the basement area, and then in some houses in retail and other general areas, there's furniture that floats like nightstands, chairs, beds, that type of deal. And when you destroy them, a ghostly like image or essence, whatever you want to call it, pops out of it. And we're trying to theory, like come up with a theory of what it may be. It might possibly have to deal with the connection of Dark Bright Bomber, like the dark variants of those skins that were mentioned from a previous season. So it kind of depends. I don't know what you guys think. Tell me in the comment section below. And also in other news, we have the heavy AR that is coming soon. So that, that appeared in the news tab for Fortnite. And it had the description of a powerful assault rifle that is most useful when fired in short bursts. So this is basically the AK-47, even though the, I guess, gray burst and green burst kind of resemble AK-47. But this one is going to be a fully automatic one. And we should be expecting it an epic and legendary variant, most likely. And yeah, so this will be exciting to see as I have been desiring a weapon like this. It, it just has a nice look to it. And I don't know, to me, it'd just be fun to have another AR that is in a burst and is like fully auto and then again i guess we have the suppressed ar but i don't really care for it so either way what do you guys think of that we also have the little kevin challenges so previously i talked about in one of my videos about little kevin and how he was not attached to any skin so you guys can get this for free i assume this starts when the event happens uh so you have to gain 5000 xp you have to play 15 matches in total and you have to outlive 500 opponents and then you get the little kevin back clean for free so it's pretty nice uh, you guys can tell me what you guys think of the backling and challenges themselves. In other news, aka lastly, we have cube stuff happening. The cube event, or the event that's happening on Sunday. So if you guys don't already know, the cube is starting to drain. And we discover that based off files that happen and then events happening in-game. We can thank Lucas7Yoshi underscore for this on Twitter. And he was able to discover that there are drip files for the thing before it happened. And then now we have evidence that the cube is dripping itself. Uh, so sometime on November 3rd at 1 p.m. EST, the cube started dripping this ooze and we can see that it is now losing energy too. A big old blob of something dripped into the leaky lake and now it's just con continuing to do so and it's just interesting. So I don't know, uh, I think possibly when the cube loses all its energy, something big is going to happen. Also, when viewing the event, we will most likely be in shadow form due to a file stored in the same directory as the shadow stone. And this was discovered by TA5TYY. And we also discover from the same person, anti-gravity sphere to possibly prevent the killing of each other. So this is due to the possibility of the event all surrounding one general area. And we believe that the anti-gravity sphere is most likely going to prevent people from killing each other given that the event lasts 5 minutes. So at 1pm EST until 105 EST, uh, that's when the event lasts. And there's also a specific animation for watching the event that lucas 7 yoshi underscore discovered too. And it's just like a person like pointing up into the air. And it looks like I assume has to do with the shadow stone or butterflies that happen with this. And I don't know, it's kind of interesting. We also have audio files for the event that were discovered by Fort Tory, so F-O-R-T-T-O-R-Y, and that will be in the pinned comment since it's like four minutes of audio files. I don't really want to throw it in the video, uh, but yeah, so you guys can listen to that. Uh, there's supposed to be an order of when it happens. There will be two tweets that you guys can look at, and yeah. Also, discovered by FN Leak, you notice that there is going to be a point of interest swap, aka the leaky lake is going to be switched out for Rainbow Lake with the new islands when that happens. 
So we have a before and after picture from r slash T-A-P-L-E-N-S-O-N. And that is when Leaky Lake switches out with the new uh, point of interest where the islands are all, I guess, me meshed into the lake itself. And you guys can also see the, I guess, the texturing of what the new area will look like from Gambit Animating. And his name is G-A-M-B-I-T-A-N-I-M-A-T-I-N-G. And you can see that he did a wonderful job at providing an example of what it's going to look like. You can kind of see where areas will be. Like in the northern part of the picture, aka the top side, you can see that's going to be the area closest to the divot. And then the uh, like the part on the south side, you can see that's going to be where the factories currently are. So interesting stuff. You guys can tell me what you guys think of everything currently. Then we also have more from FN Leak that the cube appears to explode by with an eruption and final like the files for it. You guys can see what it looks like. It's pretty interesting that the cube will most likely explode. And then the rest of the cube will drop down into the lake itself and cause the rest of the islands probably to fall with it. But I don't know. You guys tell me what you guys think. Also, leave a like, comment down below what you guys think of everything. Tell me what you guys think of everything. I would love to discuss with you guys what is happening. Are you guys going to be watching what is happening with the event tomorrow live? Or are you guys going to watch a live stream? Tell me what you guys think. Or are you guys going to watch a video later about it? But either way, that's it for today. Don't forget to hit that sub button on your way out. And have a great day. Bye-bye.